You are a uprising programmer, a perspective developer, a student with over exaggerated expectations in life. I don't care if you never did programming, developing, or watching cute kittens on any other system than Windows or Mac, then you are none of the above. What I'm saying is, if you never used Linux as your main environment for developing slash programming, then you're not really a developer slash programmer. No worries. I'm here to guide you of how to turn your freshly installed Linux system into professional developing environment, which it was meant to be from the very first day of its existence. First, of course, you'll need an IDE. Short for Integrated Development Environment. Officially, it is a software application that provides tools and facilitates software development for computer programmers. In human language, it's a program in which you create programs by typing text which to normal human being looks like alien language. As with every other thing here, there are many options. What's nice about Linux is that every program which can edit text can be used as IDE. There are so many of those which don't even have graphical interface. Like Nano, for example, which we used in previous videos to edit many configuration files. And of course there are those which do have graphical interface and can actually be overwhelming with it. Atom, Sublime Text, Genie, Bluefish, and many other. Each one has its own perks. If you don't want to check them all out, just use one that is pre-installed. If you really need one, then install Sublime Text. Assuming that you're not a Pi, and your system is up to date, we shall continue to install the necessary programs. Genie and Sublime Text are obvious. Code is a command for the Visual Studio Code. Which is, if I may say, one of the very best IDEs available. Not to mention, a good looking. When you see Genie, Bluefish and similar, after Atom, Sublime Text and Visual Studio, you might want to say, okay, motherfucker. But those can be also customized to your liking. Although it's a waste of time and you are simply better off using Sublime Text or Visual Studio, there is big probability that you are doing web programming. If so, then you'll need to install web server for your applications. Linux is wonderful again. Just run this command. And your computer is now a web server. To be sure that your web server is functional, first check if the Apache service is active. Then check the local host page by simply typing localhost in the browser. The page will state the obvious. Being a web developer, you don't need me to explain to you in detail what is index.html. What you need to know is the location of the file. Now let us test those IDEs we installed earlier, by opening the index file with each of them. And also the pre-installed one. In this case, it's XCD. As you can see, it is packed with enough options that can allow you a comfortable developing environment. So, as far as web development goes, you really don't need anything better. Clones of this program are Gedit and Pluma. Basically the same programs in different Linux distributions. Now let's try Genie. No doubt, it is a robust program. But it's still okay, just like Bluefish, which I'm not even going to try. Sublime Text is run by this short command and is pretty as f pretty, elegant, minimalistic, and functional. Perfect IDE. And finally, I can say my favorite Visual Studio Code, run by the simplest and most adequate command possible code. In case you need to run any other system simultaneously for testing, or other purposes, it is smart to install virtual machine software. Use this commands to install it. Let me know in comments if you would need me to do another boring video of how to use it. And that's pretty much all what you need. You have all the tools necessary for programming. Only thing left for me to say is, good luck. <laughs>